This is your family's first and most important line of defense against Mother Nature. When she strikes, make sure you call the people that I trust, my family and friends at Exterior Home Solutions. Welcome into the Exterior Home Solutions Extra Innings. I'm Eric Kane here at Hawkins Field in Nashville, Tennessee, the state's capital, Tennessee. An 8-4 to four winner over, Na over Vanderbilt here in the series opener. Uh, it was kind of a back-and-forth game, but Tennessee held a two-run lead the majority of the game. Did have a, uh, a struggling bottom of the sixth inning for A.J. Causey on the mound. Gives up three runs, and Tennessee falls behind at 3-2. to two. Tennessee jumps back in front. A uh, pair of two-run home runs, five runs total in the top of the eighth inning, and Tennessee cruises to an 8-4 to four win from there. A lot of offense, three home runs. Took a little while for the bats to wake up, but Tennessee, of course, did that in a big way. Again, five runs in the eighth inning. Dylan Dryling, I mean, what a game for him. He continues to be the guy that nobody really talks about. Had <laughs> a run scoring double in the first inning, had an RBI bloop single in the in the second or third inning, and uh, he had a, a three-hit day, triple later in the ball game as well. Hunter Ensley came through with a critical insurance run, KT's home run. They hit the top of the monster over there in the left field was big. And then how about Cannon Peebles? Tennessee still does not have an answer for its designated hitter um, problem. And you saw Don Bargo get two at bats. You saw Brad Key Lowry get in the bat. And then finally it was third time's a charm. Cannon Peoples comes in and sends a, you know, a, sends a pitch over the right field wall for a two-run home run. So um, Chris Damos, at times I think this was his best outing for uh, him in a tennis uniform. He walked two but had a season high of five strikeouts. Uh, very emotional, very passionate out there. Tony Vitello even said that, hey, even his misses were pretty good misses. Um, he goes two innings and two-thirds, hands the ball off to A.J. Causey, who prior to that three-run sixth inning, he had retired seven straight. It was two outs. It was three uh, two-out knocks from Vanderbilt to put the home team ahead, and, of course, Tennessee comes back. So this game had a little bit of everything. A.J. Causey was good. Stamos was good. Tennessee's offense woke up. Christian Moore led off the game with an opposite field home run, and now he is just two home runs shy of tying the, the program record for single-season home runs at 24. That was a record set in 1998 by Sony Cortez. We'll see if Christian Moore can tie that here this weekend or maybe break it. Who knows? We saw him hit three home runs in Game 3 against Kentucky a couple weeks ago, but he's now at 22 on the season and 49 in his career. So a lot of postgame coming up. Four takes already on the site. How it happened, all that and more. We'll get this video up there. Tony Vitello, KT, and A.J. Causey. All that and more here from Game 1, Nashville, Tennessee, VolQuest coverage uh, presented by our friends over at Exterior Home Solutions. This is uh, the uh, extra innings, and uh, Tennessee wins 8-4. to four.